What's going on guys, it's me Joji, and today we have another Pokemon TCG Online video. Now, this gameplay is going to be with a alternate Cosmo deck that I made. Uh, I kind of followed the usual um, template for alternate Cosmo, or you always have, I mean obviously you have an alternate Cosmo. Uh, and then some Alamars, running four in this one. But I'm also running a Dawn Wings Necrozma for invasion in case I need to switch out Ultra Necrozma to put some more energies on him. I'm also going to be running uh, the Mew Mew because its utility in almost every single type of deck is limitless. And in this case, just so it can hit for a psychic weakness if necessary. Uh, we are going to be running only two Cherish Balls. I threw in some custom catchers. Now that uh, post rotation is coming up soon, I think maybe like two weeks. I'm not sure when this is going up. I think it's going up uh, a week before, but uh, just to be able to pull other Pokemon out if we want to hit those instead or just switch out something unfavorable. Some energy spinners. Uh, we're only going to be running three mysterious treasures. I know usually most decks run four. Uh, I only have three. <laughs> uh, some stadium nabs to pull out the Vir Viridian Forest. Uh, the usual Cynthia and Lilies. Uh, Professor Elm to pull out those Inkes quickly and just have them all there. Uh, Beast Energy obviously to help out. Uh, Ultra Necrozma. Uh, not really needed for Donwing because he only uses Psychics. And then we only have two Metals because we only have two Ultras. And it's just an extra honestly. We could have just used one Beast and one Metal. But just in case we don't pull any Metals. I mean any Beast Energy. We can use uh, Energy spinner or viridian forest to pull out these guys and then only 10 energies uh psychic energies but yeah let's see how this works out i'm i tested it a bit and it worked pretty well honestly so i'm hoping uh we get some wins today all right let's find out all right first opponent let's see if uh, we can win this one, uh, it looks like he might be playing some dark, so that's gonna hit. I think Dawn Wings for for weakness. I don't know. I think Fairy is Ultra Necrozma's uh, weakness. It looks like we're gonna have the Mulligan first. I wonder if this is maybe Dark Box. I think Dark Box run. Dark Box runs some Naganadels. The Weavile, obviously, and the Tyranitar and Dark Rice, so we'll see. Depending on whatever this is, maybe we'll get a sneak peek at it. Well, we did get an Inke. Nothing too revealing in our mulligan for him. And a Punkaboo, okay. I'm not sure what this guy's playing, uh, but let's go ahead and pull out hmm I want to pull Ultra Necrozma out now I think I do I want to be able to start setting this guy up uh, we'll have to wait another turn for Malamar to come out anyways so let's do that let's try and get a Viridian Forest out we do get a heads for one Viridian Forest okay that took a little bit longer than it should have Alright, put down the Viridian. We do not need a switch right now. This might come back to bite me, but let's get the metal just to put that on him now. And we're gonna Lily for the extra six. Nice, we got a Malamar down there. And some other energies, uh, which we could probably Viridian out. So we're gonna end it there. Let's see what he's gonna do. I honestly don't know what he's running. Uh, choose a random card and shuffle it back into the deck. Okay. Hmm. Trevenant is what it evolves to, I think. Is there anything? I don't know if Trevenant's any good. Is it Pre Trevenant? I'm thinking Trevenant, but I don't think it's Trevenant. It might be something else. We'll have to see what he's doing. All right, okay, so there's a Grand Jizor art there. Um, I don't know what he's playing. Okay, well, he's probably gonna attack me with the Astonish and hopefully he doesn't choose the Malamar. 
or not. I am kind of... Okay, I, I think this might just be a, a mishmash of random cards. <laughs> I honestly don't know what the heck I'm playing against. This might be just like a, a melting pot of random cards. Oh, he got rid of my... Okay, I don't really need that. It would have been helpful if I get another one to get that Greninja Zorak out of the picture. But let's put it onto this guy. Let's go ahead and pull one of those energies we discarded. And we could knock it out. Hmm. We do not need the metal anymore. But let's get rid of some psychics just so we can keep using Malamar. We can put one more down. Do we want to retreat this Inke for one knockout? He needs another turn to set this guy up. Huh. Let's Cynthia first. Let's see what we can pull. Ooh, we got another Malamar. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and power up him some more. We do have a beast energy now. Let's see. Okay, we got a Lily. It's not bad. And what I'm going to do is actually get rid of that pull a Psychic so we can Viridian it next turn. Yeah, I think that's going to be it. Uh, we do need a switch now. Or, yeah, switch. To get him out. Or maybe Ultra Necrozma. We'll see uh, what happens here. I'm kind of hoping doesn't astonish and put away the lily because I think I do need to draw some stuff out. Looks like he is starting to power up the Greninja Zorark. What I might have to do is retreat him out and maybe if I get another custom catcher that would be ideal but Gonna... Oh, okay, good. He got rid of Beast Energy. I'm okay with that. Oh, <laughs> we just got another costume catcher. All right. Um, let's be reading away this Psychic. Grab another Psychic. And we will... <laughs> I'm wondering if this might cause him to uh, rage quit. Add that to him. Add this to him to Lily for some more cards we got Donwing now uh, oh he could have just switched oh well how much damage is this gonna do this is gonna do one so no I can't do math that's 240 uh, 260 that is knockout all right yep yeah. let's just go ahead and do this Let's, uh, let's just switch him out. And that is knockout for three cards. Oh, that was a lucky pull. That was honestly, <laughs> yes, I knew it. He quit. All right, we're moving into the next one. Okay, let's see if we can get another win with this. This, it didn't say we, any, either of us had the advantage. Um, but his was kind of a mishmash, just based off this, I'm assuming it's Warlock. So let's put, no, do I want to, oh, I do have the beast out. Do I want to do that immediately though? Yeah, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's go ahead and put them out first. Might have been a bad idea, but we'll see if we pay for it. This way, we don't need the metal energy for him. Yep, it's definitely Sporlock. I've been meaning to try out my Sporlock out. Maybe the next video. I don't have a great Sporlock, in my opinion. I'm still trying to figure it out. But we do get a Lily, a Mareep. That's interesting. 
Oh, uh, it's probably for um, Ampharsis Paralyze where you discard cards. Let's go ahead and we're going to pull out Ultra Cosmos so we can get him back into the bench and use Malamar. And I'm not going to touch that one. I'm going to move this onto him. And I kind of do want to get rid of it so I can get more cards from Lily. Let's go ahead and get... Let's get the Mew Mewtwo. If we need to, we could always um, heal. I feel like we might need to do some healing after all the sleep we're going to get put into. Alright, perfect. We got a Viridian Forest. We're going to go ahead and use that now. Let's grab another Psychic. We're going to... Yeah, we're going to Energy Spinner as well. Grab that Psychic. Actually, no, we're going to start preparing the other Ultra Necrozma. Okay, we do have the three custom catchers. So, let's see here. Should we move him over now? I think we should. Let's move him. Uh, hopefully, hopefully this doesn't intimidate him immediately. He does have this shroomish. This is, uh, I, think, I think that's Guardians Rising or something. Let's see if he gets some fungus. Might already have a Moongus in his hand. Oh, a Deancey. Oh, he's probably using that for Breloom. Okay. Good to know. And since he's probably adding energy to it, it might mean that next turn he's going to switch this out for a Breloom. There goes the Slumbering Forest. We're going to have to get some Stadium Abs out. Wait, what happened? Oh, okay. That's what the is for. All right, so I guess what we're gonna have to do is definitely knock out either the Marape or the Dancy first. This is gonna be a problem with those Shroomishes, I mean, uh, Breloom's. So let's go ahead and pull Psychic onto Ultra Necrozma. And, uh, hmm, should we start? Well, it's going to be do a hundred, and that's probably going to be enough for Breloom. I forget if Breloom's 90 or 120. Let's set up the older Ultra Necrozma. And... Should we pull out Diancy? It needs two to retreat. That will save us at least one turn. Yeah. Let's do that. It'll save us a turn or two. It's Lily. Ooh, perfect. Let's go ahead and grab an Inke. So we can set that up with another Malamar. Let's see what we can pull with Poke Gear. Nothing. Alright. We do another need another Viridian Forest. Um, and we'll leave it at that. Oh, we got lucky. We woke up immediately. Perfect. Now we do need to add some energies. Oh, okay. Who are you pulling out? Okay, I figured we were going to pull him out. And I'm going to be glad when Guzma's gone from standard. Let's see here. What are you going to do? <laughs> we are getting lucky with these. I'll, uh, I'll admit that. <laughs> well, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start powering up. I'm actually going to power up Dawn Wings. And yeah, let's add that to him. It's Photon Geyser for knockouts. So we can stop worrying about that Mareep. Let's see what we can get here. An Illy, that's gonna be good. We need some cards in hands. In my hand, in my hands. Yeah, I mean, we know those are both correct. Okay, let's see. You're probably gonna have to put in one of those shroomishes. All right, interesting. I'm assuming there's a way for you to evolve it and put me to sleep for the extra damage. Okay. 
I see. I think Rescue, Rescue Stretcher is one of those other cards that's also getting... Yeah, this is... Actually, I don't know what this one is. But it's getting rotated out. Mm hmm. Gonna put me to sleep again. I definitely need a Viridian Forest or two. This deck usually runs four slumbering forests, so... Another Marie, maybe? Oh, Fungus. Okay. So you do have a Mungus now. And you do have two Shroomishes. Shroomai. Uh, so... We'll see what happens now. We all get woken up immediately again. There's Breloom. Kind of wasted that Spore. I should have saved it in case I... Oh, no, okay. So, how much? 120. Okay, does 140. And I'm still asleep, unfortunately. Uh, I do have to use some kind of switch. Alright. Well, we do have Necrozma's Invasion, so we're okay with that. And let's Lily. See what we can pull. We do have this. And surprise, surprise. Knockout. <laughs> Alright, another Cynthia. I don't know if I want to use the Cynthia's. Because I do want these custom catchers. Although I don't need the Inke. Let's see what. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I figured he was gonna put Marie back in. There's the Moongus. Is there gonna be a Braylon now? And no, that's gonna be the end of the turn. Okay. I got a switch. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's just say you have a good deck because honestly it is a good deck to have. You don't have to worry about uh, getting multiple, hey look, Breeding Force, multiple um, prize cards removed. So that's not bad. Let's see if we can grab some more of these just in case for later. Add this to him. And... Do I want to keep the Photon Geysers? Hmm. Because I could always just bring him back in, knock out. That's very tempting. I am resistant to fighting, so let's go ahead and back invade back in. And you know what? Let's. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I need the stadium now. I'm going to get rid of the Poke Gear. That's fine. It was actually a mistake, but that's all right. We still get to knock this Marith out, so he has to start putting down Breilums or Funguses. Fungi. Yeah, it's Fungi, because Fungi, Fungi, a Moon Guy. <laughs> now there's the other Marith, and there's another Slumbering Forest. Good thing we have this Viridian Forest. And we're asleep. And we're not awake. That's okay though, because we got this. And I guess we'll power up this one. Let's stadium nav just so we can grab some more. No, oh, all right. Well, we did not get any more, but we did get a switch. <laughs> uh, you shouldn't be too happy. Let's go ahead and grab. We don't really need anything. Let's just grab a Malamar. I just wanted to put that Psychic in there. And let's get rid of Inke. Let's grab that and put it onto Krasma. Hold that. 
invade back in. This invasion ability is really, really great, honestly. Definitely helps with the, the spore lock. <laughs> Switches definitely help as well. Um, assuming Reap's next. Ooh, okay. Not, not next. That's interesting. He might not have any slumbering forests left. So, yep, spore. Yeah, let's. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I mean, at this point, yeah, I figured. <laughs> two for two. In a row, too. Not bad. Well, guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, again, as like the previous one, we got two concedes, and I think we're gonna be seeing a lot of that just because if you're not getting two decks of even uh, ability, if you're not getting something like another alternate Necrozma against this, or a Reshazard, or maybe uh, a Blacephalon uh, decks, you're not gonna be seeing too much of a battle. <laughs> The Sporlock was pretty good in my opinion, but I just kept shutting it down with uh, the Switches and Dawn Wings Necrozma's ability invasion. Definitely really great. I think this is going to get a lot of play in some of these psychic decks, just because you can switch out back and forth to get rid of a lot of... Uh, I think there's going to be a lot of uh, special uh, conditions being thrown out in this next pro rotation, especially with Sporlock and... Uh, I think there's some other decks that run around a lot of paralysis and things like that. Especially Kogus Trap is getting played a lot more. Muck is coming up. The the Muck's uh, tag team. Definitely one of those can, that can definitely knock out a Rush's art immediately. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Ultra Necrozma did see a lot of play, but I still think Dawn Wings was the one that took this video. Mewtwo and Mew didn't really do anything. <laughs> I think all we did in one of the uh, battles was put some energy onto it. But still good to have as a utility Pokemon. Overall, I enjoyed this video. And if you did as well, be sure to leave a like. Also, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next video.